question. Can public art make our neighborhoods not only happier, but safer? Well, that's the question communities across the country are trying to answer, including Denver's Athmar Park neighborhood. Denver 7's Rob Harris shows us how neighbors are turning abandoned land into art and a real chance for change. Walking today is a lot different. In some important ways, Denver's Athmar Park neighborhood is barely recognizable to the people who know it best. This used to just be like empty land and there was a lot of trash and it was pretty nasty and now it's beautiful and it's cleared. Kristen Lacey lives across the street from what's now a walking trail lined with public art. But just a few years ago, she says it was an eyesore unkept land underneath power lines. I think it encouraged because it looked really bad. It encouraged a lot of people to treat it poorly as well and like not take care of it. This trail and now trashless field is seven years in the making. It's a result of a lot of neighbors deciding to take the future of their neighborhood into their own hands. Yeah, we started kind of like organizing a bunch of neighbors, just asking like, what would you want to see? But we landed on, it would just be nice if it was cleaned up and there was like a safe space for kids to walk to school. It's a work in progress and it's improving all the time. Through financial help from the city and countless volunteer hours from neighbors, the goal of a safe walking trail has blossomed into the Tennessee Trail Project a place for public art, kids' books, and shared green spaces and gardens. It's taken a long time to like get things to happen, but we're so happy with it, and I see people on the trail every day. These beautifying projects have been popping up throughout the Athmar Park neighborhood, like this mural you see behind me. And what neighbors will tell you is that these projects haven't just made their neighborhood look better. They say it's made it feel safer, too. I see more people saying hi to each other and I see more, you know, neighbor kids like playing safely while their parents are watching them from the front porch. And that makes us all kind of feel better about where we live. According to the Denver Police Department, there were four murders in Athmar Park in 2020, four in 2021, and one in 2022. Last year, there were none. Property crime in the neighborhood has fallen too. Now to be sure, there have been some outlying categories. For example, aggravated assaults were higher last year than previous years. But overall, DPD data does show a reduction in crime in Athmar Park. I'm so excited to see the results and the changes of, you know, safety and crime rates and things when we just make small improvements. I think it is a really good model for if we distribute resources equitably and, you know, more evenly across the city. For Denver 7, we can make big changes in some of these neighborhoods that do have higher crime rates. I'm Rob Harris.